actually uh, writing a book because writing a book is just a part of it. Promoting the book is, I, I would assume, the largest part of what it takes to getting your book out there. Is that correct? Well, yes. Yes. The, the hard work ends and then more hard work begins. <laughs> like you think that your hard work is over when you finally have that book in your hand, but then actually that's just the beginning. Then you got to figure out how to get it out there because most people don't write a book just to have like this computer file in the sky. They want to change lives. They have Absolutely. a message. They want to get out to the world. So now you have to figure out how to get your book out there. And if you don't have a traditional publishing a wheel behind you sort of doing all of this uh, work for you and putting you out there on TV and radio and you know book signings and all that traditional stuff that goes along with the traditional publishing model then you're really on your own to figure out how to get the message out by yourself yeah and and actually I I, I believe that even authors who do have sort of that that machine they in many cases they're very active themselves in, in terms of getting the book that the word out about their book so before we get into you know the whole marketing aspect, I just wanted to understand how many books does it actually take for you to be considered a best-selling author in terms of sales? Okay, well, I took a course a few years back that was called How to Become an Amazon.com Bestseller, and it was very interesting because technically, if you are in the top 100 in your category on Amazon, you can call yourself an Amazon.com best-selling author. Okay. Now, the trick is to actually make it to number one so that you can really use that distinction with the media because when you have a number one best-selling author status, it opens a lot of doors. People want to interview on the radio. They want to put you on television. They don't know that you're in wedding showers on Amazon or you're in communications or, you know, the smaller subcategories that you can find, but that's part of the process. And Part of the work of putting an Amazon.com bestseller strategy out there is really so that you can achieve a certain level of um, maybe distinction so that you can have these doors opened to you so that people in the media will take you seriously so that you can get your message out there. I'm not saying it's a trick, but there's a certain aspect to it that you know might not be like, okay, well, you're not a number one New York Times bestselling author. But if you make if you make it into the top 100 in your category on Amazon, that's that's the distinction you can use. So your question, how many books does it take? Yeah. Well, there's a certain uh, logarithm that they devised. It's a little bit complicated. You don't really know have to understand it completely. But if you sell a bunch of books on a certain day, like within a 24 hour period on Amazon the rankings will get pushed up very quickly so the point is to make an offer that is very time sensitive and have all your friends and family and a bunch of other people say bloggers and other people there I can explain more later as we get into this but okay. if you sell a flurry of books within a 24 hour period on Amazon it's very likely that you will absolutely make the top 100 in your category if you pick the category correctly mm -hmm. you're allowed to have three categories per book on Amazon, and if you play your cards right, you can actually hit number one. Mm. And then you can scream up, and then you can use that to get on the radio and television, and then it becomes really fun. So whenever I teach this strategy, my goal is to not just get people into the top 100, but my goal is to get them to number one. Number one. Hard. So, I mean, I would say, I'm still not answering your question, I would say between 100 and 200 books would do, would do it if you pick your subcategory wisely and correctly. For one day? Yes, in okay. that one 24-hour period. Now, you might bounce back to like in the thousands a couple yep. days later. That's okay. You can still use that distinction. And nobody questions that. People are always looking for an expert. And if you were number one in that category, actually Amazon takes their best sellers and they actually work somehow mathematically to keep you on the bestseller list. Once you hit like a number one position, it kind of stays up there. So doing a bestseller strategy campaign is very advantageous because I noticed that when I 
did that for the daughter-in-law rules, and I hit number one in wedding showers, that my book has not left the top 20 in three years. It just stuck up there. That's because it got brilliant. visibility, and then people keep buying it, and then, now granted, it's a small subcategory, wedding showers, right? There's a couple books that compete.